But despite that win, Longhorns do drop another spot in the polls. That is where we start. Longhorns stay fourth in the coaches' poll. They do fall to sixth in the AP poll, but first things first. Record crowd last night in Lubbock. Longhorns, of course, no doubt, with 2008 at least on the minds of some. And how about that start? Texas defense pouncing on the bad snap. It's freshman Jackson Jeffcoat just like that. Horns have the football, and Fozzie Whitaker goes seven yards for the touchdown. Four years ago, they were down 21-0. Two years ago, down 19-0. Instead, they were up 7-0 just like that. They get the football back, and Garrett Gilbert throws a strike to James Kirkendall. That takes it inside of the 10-yard line for Tech, and then Gilbert rolling, and Mike Davis, second touchdown of his young career, and it's 14-0. Looks like it might be a whitewash, but then... Well, the football started flying in the wrong direction for the Horns. A couple of tipped interceptions, including this one. Jarvis Phillips not only picks it off, but he goes the distance. And just like that, Texas was ready to score. Make it maybe 21 at worst 17. It's 14 to 7. And then Tech gets it back and pots up top to Lyle Leong. And we've got a new ball game. Taylor Potts just 21 to 35, but it is all even. Seemingly all the momentum with Texas Tech. Second half, second drive, and they're driving. The Red Raiders are until Curtis Brown steps right in front of Potts' crossing route, and he's off to the races. Now, Brown could not outrun Baron Batch, but he does get it into field goal range for Justin Tucker. Longhorns take the lead. Texas Tech with a little change up going with the Conley Cougar, Stephen Sheffield, but his three plays less than memorable, including the sack right there. Will Muschamp just a little fired up. Fourth down, and they fake it. Ryan Robertson with the first down. He wanted to keep the football. You can't do that, not the NFL. This is the end of a 23 play that lasted more than nine minutes. Garrett Gilbert to Barrett Matthews on third and goal from the one. Looks like he wants to explode the ball. They look like anywhere is a better place to be. Same for Taylor Potts. Jackson Jeffcoat, huge game. Tech, fewest yards score or recorded rather since 1990. Longhorns get the victory. They start the season 1-0 in conference play. Uh, I told the guys if we'd come out here not ready to play, uh, stood around a little bit with the mistakes that we made, we would have lost the game. But I was really, really proud that they were ready to play. They were excited about the game. They played tough. They played hard. And um, when you win, especially on the road, you can uh, correct the mistakes that you made. Just to keep fighting, you know, it's a testament to our offense to, uh, to you know, keep fighting. And then, you know, in the second half, really, really ran the ball well and, and, and stayed on the field on third down. So, again, it's just a, te a testament to the, uh, you know, the fight in our offensive unit. I think he did anything what any other quarterback would do. But, I mean, uh, like I said, uh, he's a great leader. I think tonight was a big step for him in that area, you know, leadership. But overall, I think we all had a good game. He had a real good game. Well, there's no such thing as a get-in, get-out game. Every game for us is a statement game. We want to go out and want to play as hard as we can and, and send a message to people who watch the film. We want to put something on film that we can be proud of. And so we were proud of how we played tonight, but we're going to keep on uh, working and getting better. We're just trying to keep going every game, playing hard, and we're going to keep coming out aggressive and just so I mean, we know defense wins championships, so we got to be solid on D. It was the Longhorns of, of 2010 versus the Red Raiders 2010. And I think if we were focusing on what happened in 2008, then that was going to do nothing but get us in trouble. Of course, Blake Gideon referencing the fact that in 08, he dropped the interception right before the Michael Crabtree touchdown. Last night, Gideon, well, a little bit of redemption as he gets an interception from Taylor Potts. And then Curtis Brown, he was in on that Crabtree touchdown along with Earl Thomas. And Curtis Brown gets his little piece of redemption. You saw it before, but here it is one more time. Remember last year on the one-year anniversary of the play, Brown had a pick six at Oklahoma State. Couldn't get to the end zone, but certainly happy the way the night unfolded. Um, I just feel we played a good game, and I'm just happy it ended on a good note. Uh, interception, monkey jumped on my back at the end, but it's all good. That's ironic. That's ironic. Uh... I, I don't know what you'd call that. That's uh, a blessing, I guess. Uh, that's, that's funny how things like that work out. Of course, there are matters to work on. Turnovers. Horns would like to clean up the penalties as well. 11 for 95 yards last night. And now it's back to non-conference. Texas will host UCLA.